because it's kind of cool out here. How y'all doing today? Whew. Uh, can y'all see what I'm eating? Uh -huh, this, the, this the leftovers for uh, from Mother's birthday celebration. Let's say prayers. Bow your heads with me if y'all will. Father God, I just want to say thank you. For real. Thank you. Everything big, small, whatever you have doing and what you're doing, we just want to say thank you. We're giving you glory, honor, and praise. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful, healthy body. Have your way in this life of mine. Continue to bless uh, my YouTube channel and put the right people in my pathway. Have your way and your way only in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, look what we got. That's mama's leftovers. She I brought home some ribs, some chicken, some sausage, some potato salad, and some dirty rice. And know that mother does not get her rice out of a box. I love her homemade dirty rice, y'all. I'm going to bring my camera down a little bit because I think it's too hot. Let me see. Is that better? Okay, let's do our tip. How about that? Tip, tip, tip to my, my new hoosters. Thank y'all for joining the family. So for everybody else that's new, that's coming today, come on in. Bring your, your cocktail, your Kool-Aid, your water, your food that you want to eat with me. Come on in. Let's, let's sit and chip and chat. Yes, so salute, salute, sip, sip, sip the good stuff. I haven't had this drink out since I've been drinking the grapefruit vodka. This is the, uh, just the plain vodka with the cranberry juice and that grapefruit juice. It does not taste the same when you're drinking something for a long time. But I want to do a cigar. And I would like my cigars to be paired with this particular drink. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to drink it all. I may have to just do my grapefruit uh, drink with my cigar. I don't know. I guess it just don't have that good flavor. You know, like the grapefruit. Anyway. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I got my jalapeno peppers. The sweet and hot. If you got a Kroger, that's where they set this at. And y'all, I didn't put no barbecue sauce all on my plate when I when I um fixed it. Because I thought I had some sweet baby Ray. I don't have no sweet baby Ray. So... We're going to have to eat this with just some peppers. I was like, how, how I mean, because, you know, in my pantry, I don't run out. When I get low, I always put it on my, my, my uh, list when I go to the store. I guess I missed that, honey. I have no barbecue sauce. None. So this pepper have to do what it do. I was like, can I put ketchup on it? No, you can't put no ketchup on it. But for my wings, I am going to do uh, the hot sauce, y'all. Yes, yes. How y'all do? How y'all day is going? Oh, it's just so good to be back with y'all. You know I love you. Do, do you know I love you? I do. Glad to meet you, too. Yeah. You know, my mama, potato salad, it's good. She has made the same way for years. For me, I put a little twist in mine. Of course, I do a dab or two or three with the, uh, the jalapeno mustard. And then I have a secret ingredient, and I'm just going to let y'all do. I put some Thousand Island in my potato salad, too. Mm -hmm. I have three wet ingredients that I put in my homemade potato salad, but mama's is good. 
She's not heavy handed with her sauce, so I, I had to do some seasonings when I got home. Mm hmm. Like salt. <laughs> but now, I put my seasoning on it. Now it tastes like what I like. Mm hmm. Y'all. Oh, I am so sorry. Hmm. Take a bite. Yum, yum. Give me some. But you know what? When you have good barbecue, you really don't need the barbecue sauce, but it's an added. I like it. Mm. Those big hunks of meat that she put in there. Mm. And you know, um, in her garden, you know, her um, green onions, they be like this tall. They have so deep flavor, and she cook with it a lot. You can taste it. Mm -hmm. And then she have some jalapeno sauces. I saw jalapenos in here, and I think it's by Holmes. Mm -hmm. Any of the sauces is good. Let me stop. Sausages are good. That you can eat. Mm -hmm. Y'all look here. Y'all coming to know me? If y'all heard my story way back, um, seventy-five videos ago, <laughs> y'all would know my personality. Y'all will know why I talk about sex all the time. Well, I don't talk about it all the time, but I talk about it because I love it. Y'all will understand what I, you know what? I said that on another video. I think the one before this one. My past has created me who I am. God changed a lot of things also. He took a lot of things from me. And I'm so glad about that. But when I say stuff, when I do stuff, I know who I am, y'all. I can't hide. I can't hide it. I am true to me. If I can't be true to me, how can I be true to you? Mm-hmm. I'm telling y'all, my lifestyle that my mama dealt me, yeah, when you have went through a whole lot of Men taking your stuff when you say no, when you're crying, when you're trying to fight them off, trying to say no. I'm going to leave that right there. And then I studied sex. And, and I said that 72 videos ago as well. I had to study it because, once again, I know some of you heard this. I wanted to understand why men love us, our bodies, that is. Even when we say no. I don't like that drink, y'all. Um, so I, I did a, a few years of studying. Book after book after book after book. I stayed in the library. I really did. And then I like history, too, so I don't know if them two go together, sex, history, a uh, history of the sex, <laughs> but I studied history as well, y'all, uh, regarding slavery, that is. Well, all of us have something, right? So, in that path of sex, I studied it. People took it from me. And then I gave it. It's elements of your life. Mine as well. It's like, you know, when you're homeless. Dot, 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 dot. So I got promiscuous, y'all. And I was thinking about this earlier. And 
you know, a lot of times I like to go back to see where I was to where I am now. I've grown. Oh my God, I've grown so much. And I have to say, thank you, Father, because I remember the year. I, I absolutely remember the year I said this to myself. I was driving uh, back from work. And I said, no more. No more. Will I destroy my body with men? That was the biggest thing, my God. I knew it was growth. I knew God was working on me, you know? So I'm saying that to say this. When I talk about sex, and I talk about it in a fun, playing way, because, you know, sex sells anyway. Sex is going to be sex, period. Ain't never going away. But you know, once again, the oldest of the elders of the old folks say, child, when they talk about that shit, that means they ain't getting it. <laughs> That's a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> And it's because I'm still saying no. And I mean it. Mm -mm. I know I'm body. Mm. Get that meat out of my mouth. I know my body. I know my work. I want the man who can love my body, my mind, I'm not just going to give a piece here and a piece there and a piece there and a piece there. One man is going to get the whole package. And he haven't, he haven't found me yet. So until he find me, I'm a nun and you can't have none. <laughs> Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Mm-hmm. And I know games, so I'm try to play. Mm-hmm. Damn, them pepper's good. So, yeah. You know, I'm going. And now I'm here to be a testimony for a lot of people. You know what? I think that when I do my, my first live, I'm just thinking it out. I'm thinking it through before I get on there and not have nothing to say and put people to sleep. I think I'm going to do a really intro letting people know really who I am. Mm -hmm. Some things are good and a lot of things are bad because it was almost four years. And homelessness. You know? So for all y'all new people that haven't went back for the uh, last 72 or 75 videos, that's okay. But that was my life that was displayed. But I'm going to start it over. So I'm a new hostess. I just joined my family. Y'all would know. And then y'all will learn me. And then y'all can understand why I say what I say. Mm -hmm. Or what I do when I do. More than what I say. And so I'm excited about that. I really am. You know? Yeah. I'm a new creature. And I thank God for it. For my health and strength. Because I know I'm his chosen child. Mm -hmm. That's my testimony. 
Acá más. Hay más que el día. She has some good flavors in there. Mm -hmm. mm. This is some good food. If your mama is still living, love her. It really is nothing like your mother's cooking. Mm -hmm. I don't care how good you can cook. It is nothing like a mother's cooking. My mama would say that. You know, my mama has never ate out. She have to cook three times a week. Sometimes four. She don't eat people food. I'm 57 and she's never had none of my cooking. She will not eat nobody food. The only thing she's gotten from me is, you know, in the holidays when you buy those honey hams that are, that is sliced and stuff. Now she'll tell me, "One need to bring me some of that ham," because she know I ain't cook it. But isn't that amazing that she can get the st the stuff out of the store? Not not her vegetables though, but the meat out the store, not knowing who her answers on it, and she won't eat our cooking. She got five children. I have never eaten. Our food. She's a germaphobic. She ain't eat nobody food. She don't eat no restaurant food. She don't eat no fast food. She don't eat that. And she is so healthy. Mm -hmm. Only thing big on her is her boobs. And she had them all her life. I didn't. I would. Uh -huh. I didn't get that from her. Another family member did. I didn't. <laughs> I'm like on my daddy's side. <laughs> mm -hmm. With everything almost. So look at y'all. I'm going to get through with this. My time is winding down. So I have to say goodbye for now. You have another time around. With this one and only hood girl. Too. I love y'all. So I'm about to actually set up on my porch. And um, get ready to do uh, cocktails and cigars. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a video or I might try to do a live with it. Hmm. I don't know. But sometimes when you got this happy juice in you, your mouth go like a thousand miles a minute. <laughs> Y'all ready for that? <laughs>